What's up, fellas? Good morning. It's your boy, Dark Hill, coming to you from the rig, man. It's another beautiful morning here in Florida. Guys, I'm going to try to keep this video short and sweet because I'm going to talk about trailers here, guys. That I'm going to talk. This is mainly for guys that are getting in that probably they're about to start their own authority or they're about to go. They're trying to buy their own equipment to go get leased on somewhere. They, they've never really dealt in the world of owner operator. They're just going to go buy equipment they might not know. You guys that have been around and been going to you know owner operator you, you already know what happens at some shippers and some brokers as far as requirements for trailers so let's go ahead and get into this we're going to start talking about reefers because a lot of guys when they're going to go when they start looking for trailers you have people tell them oh just buy a reefer trailer because with a reefer trailer you can do drive and and you can do reefer yes and no that is that is true and false at the same time yes you can do reefer those with a reefer obviously and yes, you can do some dry van loads with a reefer trailer. But a lot of brokers want wood floors and they don't want reefer trailers. Reefer trailers are the smaller on the inside of the dimensions because it's got the insulation. So there's a lot of loads that you will not be able to load on a reefer trailer that are dry van loads. So there it is. And um, you know, if you know, I I, I re if you're gonna buy a reefer trailer, do reefer. You're buying a reefer trailer that has a big motor, has an extra expense. Those things break down, they, they'll break your pocket. You gotta put extra fuel, you gotta be doing washouts, because even if your trailer's clean, a lot of brokers want you to go wash your trailer out and have a, a, a receipt for that, just cause. It's just a more expense. Now the loads pay a little more, but you also spend a lot more time getting unloaded and loaded. And you can get a lot of rejection because of your temperature, if your motor starts to fail, the temperature's not right, listen, that's what I mean, I stay away from reefer. So if you're in the, if you know that you're gonna be hauling dry van, don't buy a reefer, man. Don't listen to people. Don't let them mess you up. And then you go ahead and buy a reefer trailer, especially an old. Another thing, if you're buying a reefer trailer, don't buy an old reefer trailer. You're just gonna you're setting yourself up for failure, bro. Let me tell you, the insurance is more expensive with the reefer trailer. And if that reefer fails while you're under a hot load like ice cream or some shit like that or something that needs to be cold meat, that shit fails, and that product goes bad. That's your ass, Mr. Postman. I'm telling you right now. If you're not going to be, if you're going to get into a reefer game, get ready to put up some money and get yourself some good equipment. Because a reefer is not something you want to go in on trailer. You can do what you want. I'm giving you advice. I come from a trucking family. I know people that do reefer. And they started when they started. They, they all experienced the whole, I've heard the horror stories of going in with an older reefer trailer. They go to sleep and they wake up. That shit's not working. The product goes bad and they hit your insurance, bro. So keep that in mind. If, you're gonna, if you know you're not going to do reefer, just stay away from that. So let's get to dry van and trailers in general. So if you're, gonna, if you're getting into business and you're about to go buy your first dry van, you know that you're going to do dry van. We're going to talk about dry van. Now let me hit something before I get that. Whether it's reefer or dry van, you wanna, the, first, the first thing you want to look at on trailer, and a lot of people don't talk about this. The first thing you want to look at on trailer is the plate in front on the on the front of the trailer you want to look underneath and look at that plate that skid plate that skids on where your truck slides onto where the king pin is on the trailer you want to make sure there's no separation from that plate from your trailer body and you want to make sure that there's no warps in that if you got warps in that or separation from the body that's a no-no that's bad that is no no malo no bueno okay so that's one that's one of the first things you look at a trailer you make sure that slide plate don't have no holes you make sure that it's nice and straight and that the key pin is strong and that there's no separation so that you want to look at that another thing you want to do is that if, if possible if they have a, a ladder get up and look at the ceiling of your roof or you can just open the door and look make sure that that trailer doesn't have those that vinyl roof or the whatever fiberglass roof that you can see through it that's another no-no you can tear holes in that stuff real easy get a trailer with aluminum uh, a roof all right tires and brakes and stuff like that that you know that stuff that you can just repair you know anywhere now you want to look at the body of your trailer make sure that it don't got no holes and stuff like that obviously make sure that the trailer you know before you purchase a trailer this is another important thing that people don't do and then they purchase the trailer and they're like oh shit take, take the trailer for a ride in the highway or something and make sure that it's not dog leg if you guys don't know what a dog leg trailer is well let me let you know if you're a dog leg trailer is when you're driving you're driving in the trailer, and if you guys have worked in big companies and that do drop and hooks, I'm pretty sure you've seen this. You're driving in a straight line, you look at your mirror on this side, your trailer looks perfect. You look at your mirror on that side, your trailer that you shifted over on the white line, riding on the white line, or vice versa. That's called dog leg. That means that somewhere the trailer is, the, 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 you know, the drives in the back 
they kind of shift it so now your trailer is kind of riding like dog leg you know what i'm saying so that's stay away from those you know that's something you always want to look at from my experience great things suffer from that and i think that comes from doing a lot of u-turns and stuff like that with heavy loads but that's one thing you want to look at you want to make sure the trailer is not dog leg okay uh make sure another thing the abs light make sure your abs light is working when you when, once you got the truck connected to the trailer you want to make sure that the truck is off you push your brakes in and you just turn it to on position you should hear the abs active that little yellow light should come on and come off because if you get pulled over by dot he's gonna look for that damn abs light to come on and if it don't come on that's your ass mr postman so look for that but now we're gonna get into the inside of the trailer and this is a situation that happened to me yesterday i lost a low yesterday because of this i recently opened up this company and my uncle is the one that invested with me in the trailers and helped me out with everything and i told him when he when he didn't have no trailer at the time i said look he was, he was ready to go buy two trailers i said listen when you go by the trailers no wood walls and no push buttons i knew we were buying all the trailers we got an old five and old three and what he did, he bought two trailers with wood walls and one of the trailers with a little button. So the old three has a pull pin to move the tandems. Yes, it's a little bit tougher, but you're not going to have an issue that that, because the old five came with an issue where we had to change that little air valve. We had to change another valve because that the pins wouldn't go in. It's just, it's just a headache. It's something else you got to deal with. Those preloaded ones that you pull the pin, a lot of times those things, they, they, just, they just work. You know what I'm saying? Air, bag, uh, air ride very very important like Snyder trailers the Lawrence trailers they're spring ride trailers so a lot of brokers will not load you unless you have air ride equipment because they want to protect their product those spring ride trailers they ride rough so you want to make sure that your trailer has airbags it's an air ride trailer that's super super important and I cannot stress it enough guys the walls on the inside of the trailer make sure they're they're not wood walls you can go with wood walls but I'm telling you you have issues there's a lot of brokers that don't want to work with wooden wall trailers because there's a lot of shippers that won't ship you on wood wall trailers like what happened to me yesterday with a can load they wouldn't put a can load in my trailer because i had wood walls now my trailer this 05 is food grade trailer and it's got a brand new floor in it the walls are in perfect condition and it's not that they cannot load a price not that you're going to damage the product that they can damage your walls and they don't want to be paying to fix your walls because they use a, he was explaining to me that they use a system to load the cans where it rolls in the walls and they've had an issue where it cracks the wood and now they got to repair your trailer and people are in business to make money not lose money so they prefer to just not deal with wood trailers so now a lot of people don't want to work with wood trailers you know and a lot of times the wood trailer walls are the older trailers and most of these newer trailers come with plated walls and that's why a lot of times brokers will say no wood walls must have plated walls because they pretty much know that the trailer is going to be a newer model now my other, one of my other uncles has a 96 and it has plated walls the utility I, you know you know so that's what's going on here if you're looking for trailer make sure that the walls are plated save yourself the headache especially if you know that you're going to be going out there venturing out you, you don't want to have to be out there get a real good load let's say you're trying to come home you find a great load coming home you get to ship and they tell you sorry we can't load you because you got wood walls now you lost that day going there you lost time you lost fuel and now you're still having to find another load that's going to let you know with wood walls so look for that guys the year no off rip that if you're starting small and you're buying a trailer that's older than 10 years old there's a lot of places that won't load you there are brokers they're going to want you to tell them the year you traded they're going to want to a lot of time you can get away and lie to them but a lot of times they're going to tell you they want to see like the plate on the trailer like when it's and it's usually with the real good loads like the full gray loads they want to see that trailer year because they won't load you if your trailer is older than 10 years keep that in mind now, if you're buying the trailer to be local and you, you know you're never going nowhere, you're just going to be doing water loads and maybe Pepsi or Colas, you can buy a wood wall trailer. It doesn't matter. But, like, I knew that I would I'll probably venture out and stuff like that. So I told my uncle to buy play the walls, but this is what he bought. So it is what it is. So what I'm going to be doing, I, you know, I, I spoke to my uncle yesterday, and I've been using these trailers already for four months. And this was my first situation where they didn't load me because of the wood walls. And I just did this load three days ago with a load on the trailer while I with the trailer that I was using while my trailer while my floor was getting repaired on this trailer. And that was a great paying load and I lost that load because I had what was. Now thank God I was able to recover it, but that's what happened, man. So yeah guys, just really, really be careful about that. When you're gonna go buy a trailer, always look at the plate in the front, make sure they keep it in strong, make sure the plate's connected to the body, there's no warps and no holes. Always check your roof, make sure you got aluminum roof. 
open your doors. Make sure your doors line up good. That's another thing. Make sure your doors open and close easy because a lot of times those hooks up there, they may be broken or, they're, or those poles are warped. Make sure you don't have no issue with the door. That's another bad thing. You get loaded with a heavy load and you can't close your doors. That's a, that's a big headache. And um, make sure your floor is strong. If you get in that trailer, you can see light through the floor. Just just don't waste your time unless you got the money to do a new floor on there, which you're talking about two to three grand. And the walls inside. Make sure that the wood, make sure that they're plated walls, not wood walls, and that it has e tracks. There's a lot of brokers that require you to have e tracks. And if you don't know what e tracks are, again, this is for people that are maybe not that they're pretty new to the business, maybe two, three years, and they're about to buy their own equipment and they don't know. So e tracks are the things that you put your fucking straps to on the inside of the trailer. That's very, a lot of them want e tracks in your trailer so that you can put straps. So there it is, fellas. Check the front, check your doors. You know what I'm saying? Check your cross members underneath also that they're not rotted or cracked because that's the support of your trailer. And check your walls on the inside, they're plated. Just save yourself a headache and go with a plated trailer. And that's what it is, man. So I just wanted to touch base with you and let you guys give you guys a quick little heads up about trailers. If you're getting the business to purchase a trailer, because I'm right now, I got two great trailers, but they got wood walls. And I just lost the load right now because they had wood walls. And that's gonna be the first of many to come. So so I cannot do that. You know, the first couple of months I, I did it because my authority was new and I was literally just doing Uber freight loads, which was right here local, just water, but I'm getting ready to go out there to Jersey and back. And I'm not gonna take the chance of going out there losing a very good load because I got wood walls in the trailer. So thank God that I just, you know, me and made back in business. So I'm actually gonna have to go. It's funny because I was gonna be picking up one trailer just for my boy that's gonna be going out there, maybe two for my brother, because he's out there as well. And I was gonna stay with this trailer. And now this happened to me. So unfortunately, my uncle's gonna have, and I know that's not gonna be an issue. That, that he has a truck yard, that's what he does. And um, all he has to do is put this trailer there and put it for uh, for rent sign on it. It's gonna rent right away. So I'm gonna be picking up a trailer for myself as well for Maybach, because I'm gonna start going out to Jersey and back. I saw, I've been looking at the race. My low board has opened up and the rates are real good. So I'm going to start going out and staying back. I literally just, I'm going to do a trip up and down and then I'll do some local stuff. But I got to make sure that I don't lose loads. And this XPO logistic load from Ball, that's in Tampa, that load was paid $600 for like 200 miles. I, I cannot lose that account over trail because of, because of wood walls. So I'm going to be picking up myself a new trailer, which is going to be a new trailer so i won't have the issues of getting to the rakes of the year and i'm not going to have an issue getting to the way because of wood walls i'm just going to bypass that and i'm just going to pay a little more but it's worth it save myself the headache so that's what it is fellas so there you go fellas getting into a trailer that's what you want to look for if this video was helpful thumbs up if not thumbs down it's all good it's all love it's your boy Darkel, and i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one peace